Hey, what's up, y'all? Dixie T here. And this is breaking news. Breaking freaking news. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what else to say. If you, I mean, you gotta hear this. It links in the description. But <laughs> it seems like um, the whole Nexus angle, I think this joint is officially dead. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling it. Um, it is 12.55 a.m. here, Eastern Time. Uh, this is the time of death. J uh, June 29th, 2010, 12.56 a.m. I'm calling right now the death of the NXT angle. Because Wade Barrett, the one with the W champion, the one with the little, little mafia coat, you know, with the flower on his um, lapel right there, guess what? He's been deported. And not only that, Drew McIntyre yeah, was deported. I, I, I'm serious. Link's in the description. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know I don't shouldn't be laughing. It's just like, oh, this is the big to do. This destroys the angle. But, <laughs> my God, I'm just, wow. I mean, Drew McIntyre thing, I mean, first, the guy should have been handling, but this drew this the NXT thing. This thing was the biggest thing. Ever. This was supposed to be a big angle to get the viewers back and such. But this now you have this. <laughs> I mean, someone's gonna get fired, somebody's about to get something happen to them. This is something, this is probably one of the biggest things, man. This is the biggest collapse I have ever seen. They, they were doing fine without Daniel Bryan. I mean. They were mainly around, but now, not only Daniel Bryan's gone, but Wade Barrett. <laughs> I don't know what else. I mean, who's uh, what else? Who's left in NXT? I mean, you got six guys who no one gives an f about. I can give well, Tarver is uh, more interesting. I mean, most of those guys, Tarver's honestly the most interesting out there of a lot. <sighs> But seriously, <laughs> I mean, this is supposed to be that big angle and everything else. This is supposed to be that big to do angle. This is supposed to be the one thing that bring them back, you know, this NWO ripoff. And now they can't do it because um, one, they fired the main guy because he um, choked someone out with their tie, and two, the other the other main guy, um, guess he's deported. He can't really do. He's in England now. Screws up all their plans. F's up all their plans. Bravo WWE, bravo. Anyway, it's just you know it's it's sad because it, this is I know I'm laughing but it just it's it's humorous to me because they they pin their hopes on these big angles but in the end of the day you know what they really should be doing is trying to push main event young talent. This is their best. This is the, honestly they tried to do the easy way. The WWE went the easy way out with this. They tried to do this whole NXT explosion thing and try to get all these young talent over. But at the end of the day, guess what? You got to do it the right way. They have to build up the pieces. And they haven't built up pieces. Now they're going to go through the hard way now. They're going to have to build up people from scratch. And it's going to take them a long time. It's going to take them a real long time. So expect a... Another good long reign from uh, John, uh, from uh, Triple H and Shane, uh, Triple H, John Cena. A healthy doses of John Cena, Randy Orton, Triple H, um, Edge, Taker when he comes back, and well, let's see, and maybe a little sprinkle of a uh, sprinkle of a, uh, you know, CM Punk somewhere. Because that's going to be your shows for the WWE. That's the next six, seven, eight months right there. Hunter, Hunter, Cena, Orton, Taker, Edge, Jericho, and a little bit of Jericho, and a little bit of Punk. Just a smidge of Punk. Because, hey, it's the summertime, so Punk is about due for it's like one month title reign, so. Anyway, sticks you to your. Peace, love, see y'all when I see y'all. Later.